In today's Clash Royale video, I'm going to show you the easiest deck in Clash Royale. This golem deck, by far a ton of people are using golem. This is right now my favorite surgery with the fireball against all the controlled ice user decks. You got the skelly drinks, just as a poison bait with the night, which even up to support baby drink for the splash damage and tornado barbarian as a spell. For sure, you got the heavy golem to get the most damage on top of the opponent's tower. If you guys want to see more content just like on the channel, make sure to subscribe and also using creator good more than the shop is highly appreciated. It makes the videos better and I appreciate any one of you using my code. Here we go guys here in the first game opponent starts off dive with the skelly ball and we just go drop our skelly drinks on top of that for sure we want to control the game we kind of want to make sure we're building up a huge push and punish him for his mistakes i'm just gonna go now i mean i was saying that we won't have to control so the best control we can have is going in for golem first play. The thing I'm going to do right now is just going to go for Barbarian Bull. I mean, I know his deck, right? If you see this kind of, kind of cards like Bad, Skelly Bull, you already know it's going to be Megalith Minus. So, just playing my Nightwitch in the back now, I know he doesn't have a big spell. So, Skelly Drinks, in this matchup especially, Skelly Drinks have one of the highest win rates right now in Clash Royale. So, I would say the word or underrated, I don't really like to use this word for every single card, but I think for Skelly Ds, it's a complete fine um, yeah, fine usage for like the skelly Ds in general. So he's using a zap here And as you guys can see the night will survive because it's really hard for him to kill that and also yeah The baby drain gets a ton of value So we're actually not getting his tower which we normally really want But this is a matchup where we can really really play control We can have the e-bops against the mega knight We can just like he's, he can basically not defend this right fireball even may be better in this matchup than lightning because Yeah, we can pull like uh, push back the tubes um, like in Fairdeck into my skelly drinks of the fireball and it's a way cheaper response so I think what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna let it go why because the golden will tank I think like two skulls and also I just want to make sure he's not pressuring off the lane right because at the one one situation if we go in the same lane it's impossible for, uh, impossible for him to break through so I know that and I'm just playing casual defense and that's fine let's go for a fireball here I'm just gonna go baby drink here, and this is what I said. The golem alone gets the tower done, down. And as long as my baby drink doesn't get focused, it would have been really, really cool. We are fine. So I'm just gonna go barbarian brawl here. I'm just gonna go. I think I'm just gonna tornado this back. If he gets my tower now, that's fine for me. Because I can just go in for skelly Ds like this in case he goes in on this line. And I'm just gonna go golem. If you go with golem and do like against Mega Knights, against control decks in the same lane like Hawk Rider, you always like he needs to push into the same lane and you always get a counter push. So this is his main reason why he's also going in for the King Tower. So what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna let it connect. I'm gonna take the damage. And what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna fireballs. I hope the fireball will kill the Inferno D and it does. This is great. So also one Ebub goes into this side. You can just go in for another Night Witch here at the bridge. And I think I'm just gonna go NATO, pull this back, and hopefully let our golem stay alive. That would be cool at least. And it actually does. I'm just gonna go for scale drinks at the bridge. My EBUPs are still, like one EBUP is still alive, and I can just make, like, let it go right. I'm just gonna scale drinks high, uh, just go baby drink higher for tank to tank for the one skelly D. And this is honestly not looking too bad. The baby drink will tank for the skelly D. We get a ton of damage now. And the thing I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go in for my EBUPs here in case he drops, like, something. Yeah, okay, he's just go for. Oh, I just underestimated a bit the 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 king tower. I'm just gonna go for a barren ball here, cleaning it about up and also tank. I'm just go for my skelly d's here because now it's kind of hard for him to defend this because he still needs to play something. I'm just go baby drain here, and I think this is a really good push. Like, how the heck is he supposed to defend this? We don't even need our golden Eva is our solo win condition. I'm just gonna go nado everything together. GG's were played. First win done. This deck is absolutely easy. And every one of you can play this deck to perfection. Here we go, guys. Your next game, and we are playing against Dark Ray Lava. We have the golden starting, and so I'm just gonna wait and not doing anything in single elixir type. He just drops his skeleton army. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna drop my um, Skelly DC and I think this guy might play Lava Clone. So I think just go for the gold here. I mean, it needs to be Lava Clone, right? He also has Lava in his name, so... Maybe not the smartest decision by him. I'm just gonna go for a baby doing here. I think it's really smart for me to save my tower. Um, and actually building a counter push. I think most likely the baby doing will stay... Or look, we'll go in front, but at least the golden I uh, retarget that. But I could just go now for a Night Witch and he doesn't have a Skeleton Army in hand anymore. So it's really, really hard for him to defend. And I'm actually really happy about the situation, right? We didn't lose our tower here, and it looks like we're really getting the damage we need. I'm just going for today, you're pulling also the baby dang into the middle. Hope, like, kind of making sure it's not getting too much, uh, too much splash. And we are fine. We actually, even after this um, push, the question is what I want to do. Do I want to cycle Barbarian Ball? I think that's what the best play is for me. Um, 
Or I'm just gonna cycle e -bops. Maybe e is a better play. His Skami is out of cycle. So the only thing you can really do is right now Golden Knight and... Okay, I'm just gonna fireball this. I'm just gonna fireball this, right? This is a really solid fireball. We're getting tower. He used a ton of elixir. This is exactly what we want. Getting a solid elixir trade, getting a tower and being 1-0 up without skill if you want to say like that please let me know what you guys think i think like most people are saying golem is no skill i get the point right golem is for me one of the most annoying decks to play against because i feel like it's so yeah i mean it's just like building up huge pushes right i don't really like this kind of place there where you don't need to make like too many decisions for sure the timing is really important with any type of golem deck when you play a golem how you support your golem but i just feel like sometimes it's like it's really really hard to defend if you guys don't have the proper answer so I'm just go for the baby ring here I mean, I'm just gonna let my tower die, which is the right play. I'm just gonna go fireball this. I think I will kill everything. I have my scam. I have my barbarian ready. Barbarian bro ready in case he plays a really bad scammy. But I'm just gonna go baby ring here. Why I'm going baby ring? Because I hope my baby ring survives since actually does. So I'm just gonna go night witch here in the back to build up this bad spawn. I think I'm just gonna go for another baby ring here. Now I'm just gonna go scale rings on top of that, and let's see. I think there's no way for him to win. I'm just actually going to for my barbarian bro here. And I'm just gonna go for a tornado here, and I think this is honestly it. Fireball might come down. Oh, we don't even need a fireball. GG's, well played. Here we go, guys. Your next game. I'm just gonna cycle my barbarian bell right on top of the bridge and try to get some decent chip damage. I think I'm just gonna scale rings here. I don't have golem cycles, so for me, there's no real reason to wait. So I'm just gonna apply pressure as soon or like as much as I can. And maybe getting a golem in cycles. So what he's gonna do is just gonna go for his baby dragon. I think I'm just gonna go e here to tank. I mean, he still has to respond to it, and I can go for a golem. So he goes in for his cage. At least his cage is wasted, and this is really good. So I think this scenario, I would just want a golem. Um, the question is how much elixir? Okay, I'm just gonna go golem opposite lane. Maybe golem sane would have been a better play, but I feel like because I don't have e -bops anymore, he will just like, if he has like e -bops behind his golem, he will shred my golem and also will get tower. So at least like. At least it gives me the possibility right now to go for a tower trade, right? Um, also, a ton of golem legs have lightning, so my skates will get a ton of value against that. Okay, that's what we want to see. So, I'm just gonna go in for my baby dragon like this, scale these like this, and I'm kind of like 1% sure that we'll get this tower, and I'm also sure. How the heck did my. Does my baby dragon not splash on top of the um, stuff? Okay, at least. That's fine. I might just go e -bops in front of that. I mean, I don't really want to like let my troops like babies, uh, not babies, <laughs> dragons die there. So I'm just going to go for my e -bops here. And I might just go in for a bane roll here. That's kind of not too bad. The dragons are connecting and we're going to get a ton of chapters also, which is even more important um, than getting a damage. is forcing out another baby ring, which he doesn't want to play. And baby ring for sure, kind of need to be honest here, is, our, is the best card against our deck. So what I'm going to do right now is just going in a golden bag. I could also go golden same line. But if you're comfortable, just like, yeah, that he is going to do that. Also going to same line. Just go Night Witch here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just go baby dragon. Um. Okay. I'm just gonna go ebabs here. They like, just go ebabs in the pocket. Just go skeletons in the pocket also. Uh, I'm just gonna wait here. I'm just gonna go tornado this all together. I'm also gonna fireball this just to make sure. Maybe his baby ring dies and doesn't get the splash on top of my skeletons exactly. I'm just gonna go for another baby ring here in the pocket. Like why not? Also going for Baby Ball at the bridge, just really putting the pressure on his tower. The only thing he can do right now is just gonna nail it back, but he cannot because he can just go for another spaghetti drinks. He's too low on the the GG's well played. Another win, and this time will be the Golden in the Mermaid. Here we go, guys. Here we next game against Siaho and Nito, and I think this guy is playing a Pekka Executioner Mega Knight Balloon Free Stick. So this matchup is going to be actually really hard. I don't really know, maybe it's a smarter play to not play, uh, to not wait because I know he plays like a really, really good deck. And I think it's actually a matchup which could harder get harder in double licks at time because he has so many answers. And we might get like a lucky start and get a ton of damage instead. Um, because I feel like yeah, in doubles, we will be really hard to break through his defense. So as you guys can see, he has Evops. I mean, he has Execution, he has Mega Knight against our Evops, he has Pack against my Golem. This is ladder, guys. Sometimes you get randomly hard count. I think like I don't need to tell you that, guys. Like everybody from you knows how ladder works. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go set up a barbarian roll here. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna go baby dragon like this. Oh, we got actually more damage than him just with like the dragons. Okay, he plays pack on the back. So that's the question. I think I need to kite with golem. I think there's no other way to... Mm, to work around that. So it might be the smartest play to just go knight witch here. I mean, he will most likely nade it, right? At least that's what I would do. Yep, yeah, that's what he does. So there was a smart play by him. So my golem is dead, and also my knight which is dead. Well played. Help! We need we need some help, guys. Go skelly D's on top. The question is like for sure. We're gonna get some counter with the skelly D's, but I don't really think he cares. I'm just, he's just gonna go in. Mm. Fireball is coming down. Fireball might save my life here. I'm not gonna play anything else. I think the, the tower, the king tower should do it. And he also used the zap. So it can just go golden now. He uses Packer like one tile in front of the king tower because otherwise he could have naded it if I had naded on cycle, but I didn't. So he doesn't even know my cycle. Just go Nybridge in the back. That's actually like a big, huge joke. So. Like I'm gonna defend this. I need to go like Nado like this. Just go Skelly D's on top of that. I hopefully get a splash on top of the execution. I know we do not get it. Please! It's still alive. Just go Nibridge in the back. I need to go Fireball here, I guess. And I'm just go Ebops here, but I still think with all the spells he has, this is most likely gonna be enough. This is most likely gonna be enough. We'll just go Skelly D's here. I mean, Nado Zap Freeze does it. Nado Freeze Zap for sure does it. GG's well played. I mean, that's a tough matchup. That's a really tough matchup. I still think we're like, we, we play really great overall in this video. So if you guys don't wanna miss any videos in the future on the channel, make sure to subscribe and yeah. Also turn on the notification, use code Modern Shop. And I would say I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Peace out. Thanks for watching and goodbye, guys.